Fishing from an anchored position not working? You're looking to cover water, but you don't want to troll? Have you ever thought about using a drogue and fishing lock style from your pontoon boat? Hello everyone, I'm Phil Rowley and welcome to another Outcast Boats on the Water video tip. Today we're going to be talking to you about lock style techniques from a pontoon boat. Now your first question may be, what the heck is lock style? Well lock style is drifting, casting and retrieving downwind using a drogue, which is essentially an underwater parachute, to slow and control your drift. In North America it's often referred to as a sea anchor. There's two basic styles. You have the large rectangular European paradrogue, very popular with boat anglers. It offers a large surface area that can really slow you down. Then you have the smaller conical sea anchors or drogues as well. Most of the times when I'm fishing lock style from my pontoon boat, I use a conical sea anchor or drogue just like this one. So how do we use this? How do we deploy this? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go upwind as far as we want to go or as far as we can with the wind at my back I'm going to position the pontoon boat so that happens I'm going to take my drogue and I'm going to throw it out behind me and let it inflate I've got the drogue attached to a clamp on the motor mount of my pontoon boat here and I'm just going to throw it out it's attached to the clamp using a slip knot it'll hold and then I'm just going to wait a few minutes for it to settle out, it's going to sink, it's going to inflate and deploy, and then it's going to lock the boat in that position so I'm fishing downwind, the drogue behind me, controlling and slowing the drift so I can use standard cast and retrieve presentations like you would from an anchored position. Essentially what we're doing, it's all about boat control. Whether we're using an anchor to lock the boat in place, or in this case we're using the drogue, to slow and control the boat so we don't have to worry about kicking with the oars like this or our fins. We can just drift downwind, cast and retrieve, and focus on the fishing. So let's talk about presentation when it comes to lock style. When it comes to rods, because you've got more repetitive casting, and be casting and retrieving, casting and retrieving throughout the drift, you may want to step up your rod weight. So if you're fishing a five weight from an anchored position, a six or even a seven might be a better choice simply to let the tool do the job, not you and get tired. Your line choice depends upon your drift speed. The faster you drift, the faster the sink rate because you've got to compensate for the, allowing the fly to sink. And if your fly line sinks too slow and you're drifting too fast because you have a lot of wind, then you're not going to be able to fish effectively. If you've got a slow drift, you can use slower sinking lines. You can even fish strike indicator techniques if the drift is slow enough. A basic cast is going to consist of once you've got the boat set up, the drogue is locked into place, you're going to cast downwind, you're going to allow the fly to sink, so remember your countdown. As the fly is descending through the water, you're going to use a slow hand twist retrieve just to stay in touch with the flies so if any fish takes the flies on the drop, you can feel them and you can set the hook. Once the flies have sunk to the levels you're trying to target, like you would do with a countdown technique from Anchored, then you're going to start your retrieve. I typically like to do two quick strips. This confirms I'm tight to my fly or my flies. And if any fish are in the neighborhood, they may be attracted by that sudden movement of the flies and pounce on them. You're going to carry on with your standard retrieves, your strip retrieves, your hand weaves, your figure eights, whatever you want to do. And at the end of the retrieve, like on any still water presentation, you're going to do that slow rod raise and gather line to hang the flies to coax any fish that may be following the fly to take it. When you're fishing lock style, you get a lot of your fish on the hang, so don't forget to incorporate it. And that's your basic presentation. Once your presentation is complete, you're going to want to go back up and repeat the drift. So what you want to do is gather the drogue, pull on the cord. I've got a bright visible cord on this uh, drogue that collapses the drogue. I can gather it, bring it back into the boat, and then I'm going to row or motor back upwind 
always taking a wide circular route back to your original drift point because you never want to drift through an area you've just drifted through, particularly if you've caught a few fish. You just don't want to spook them. And then you just like shampoo, rinse and repeat, set the drogue up, get it locked in place, start your presentation, and continue casting fish. Once again, you're always covering fresh water, presenting your flies to fresh fish. Your flies precede you. Your catch rates can be pretty good using this method, and it's a great way to cover water. As with any fly fishing situation, safety first. If you're drifting over the shallows or areas of sunken debris, or perhaps a reservoir with sunken timber, there is a chance your drogue could be entangled in these obstructions. Your life is more important than your drogue. If you can't unclamp it, because perhaps it's under tension, always have a knife nearby, whether that's a pocket knife, or this Leatherman has a knife on it, you can cut that drogue. Yeah, you lose the drogue, but you save your life and you can fish another day. So I hope you enjoyed today's Outcast video tip. And the next time you're out on the water, you can't find fish, consider using a drogue and fishing lock style. It's an enjoyable way to fish. You're exposing your fly to more fish. Your catch rates go up. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it. For more information on the products used in the, today's tip, please visit the Outcast Boats website at outcastboats.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We'll see you in the next tip.